What kind of car enthusiast are you? What kind of gearhead, petrol head, boy racer, car guy, or gal would you describe yourself as? Welcome to Car Topics Explained, where today we're going to discuss a few different types of enthusiasts I've come to identify, and I'm curious what type you might closely relate to, or are aspiring to be, or just identify as. It's 2024. But hey, I'm the Racing Joker, and let's do this. Let's start off with the people who are in the clean car category. Guys in this group tend to stay away from aggressive body kits and intricate liveries, opting for solid, often factory colors and minimal cosmetic modifications. However, a lot of these guys will tastefully add performance mods with the goal of making them stout performers without sacrificing daily drivability. Not necessarily a sleeper, but not slow either. Think bolt-on cars like basic turbo kits on R35s, supercharger kits for stock Coyote motor Mustangs that make 700 horsepower, catback exhausts, stuff like that. Nothing too extreme, close to factory, but definitely, again, not a sleeper. Then you've got the alleged street car owners who would be a step up from the guys with a simpler but still clean build. The reason why I say alleged is because I'm talking about the guys that would have been the stars of some of 1320 videos, classic racing content. People take a street car and completely re-engineer it for the purpose of drag racing, roll racing, burnouts, whatever. Whether it be a Stage X underground racing Huracan or a Fox Body Mustang with a twin turbo LSX powertrain hurting everybody's feelings. These are the guys that spare no expense to be the fastest taking a page right out of John Hammond's book. Up next we got the guys who live at the track. The ones who bleed fuel and sometimes oil and shed tire rubber like nobody's business. Though maybe that should be a quality of drifters. <laughs> you know what I mean. The ones who know you don't need a 600 horsepower car to have better lap times than someone in their Hurricane Performante or their 911 GT3 RS. These are the guys who aren't afraid to go through tons of tires and take the driver mod very seriously. Give one of these guys a Miata and you'll go home with your tail between your legs with a for sale ad for your 600 horsepower race car already put together and posted. We'll call the next group of enthusiasts the Renaissance enthusiasts. They are the ones who invest in everything, hence the Renaissance man reference. Style and performance. They won't leave a single stone unturned, a single part untouched. Body kits, liveries, rebuilt powertrains, the whole nine yards. Not with the goal of being the fastest or necessarily the flashiest or even potentially the best, but they are the ones who care about having the most complete package. Try and remember the most famous cars of the 90s and early 2000s if you need a frame of reference. You know, like the Signal Auto R34 GTR being a great example. Or Top Secret, that's another great one. Then we got the collectors. Whether they drive them or not, these are the people who will spend their whole lives creating a personal automotive history museum within their own property using their own collection. The kind of person who wants an assortment of cars that tell a story and often focus on a particular theme or aspect of the automotive industry. Think Ferrari collectors or people who will purchase new and old cars to show the progress of the automotive platform has undergone. There are even folks out there who will hunt down and collect famous screen used cars from some of the most iconic car films. I know we think about the Fast and the Furious a lot here, but not just that. And lastly, we got the daily drivers, the people who will make their fun car their only car or their designated daily driver to thrash around and beat the crap out of. No matter how loud, flashy, difficult to drive, or unreliable it might be, no matter how much it might inconvenience you, you want to enjoy your passion every time you get behind the wheel. Whether it's to get groceries, take the kids to school, or go to work, your mode of transportation has to be fun. And even though it's, this is kind of a car guy phenomena, it's not, it's not uncommon. I've seen a lot of dailies turn into full-blown project cars. 
But for those that stick to it and just put a cat back exhaust and some wheels on their daily and leave it simple, they ensure that they'll always have something fun to drive. And honestly, I feel like some of us need to take a page out of their books because they get to do the most driving. <laughs> While the rest of us with the difficult to complete projects are sitting wishing we could drive our babies. Now, I know which ones I can relate to, but if you're getting into the hobby, you should probably watch this video to figure out what kind of taste you have and what cars you'd want to strive for and one day potentially turn into your dream automotive canvas.